Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about gate firing circuits of SCR. Especially in laboratory, R and RC firing circuits are used. What is the need of gate firing circuits? How to fire the or trigger the SCR? What are the various methods to trigger SCR? All this will be discussed. You can see in the lab also what is the practical explanation of gate firing circuits. A thyristor is a four layer, three junction, PN, PN semiconductor device consisting of at least three PN junctions functioning as an electrical switch for power operations. It has basic terminals namely anode, cathode and the gate. SCRs are the unidirectional devices that is that can conduct current only in one direction. But triac is bidirectional device. SCRs can be triggered normally only by currents going into the gate as opposed to triacs which can be triggered normally either by positive or negative current applied to it gate electrode. There are so many thyristor turn on methods that is triggering methods. One is forward voltage triggering and second one is gate triggering. Third one is dv by dt triggering, temperature triggering, light triggering. These are the so many methods to turn on thyristor or SCR. Forward voltage triggering occurs when the anode cathode forward voltage is increased with the gate circuit opened. This is known as avalanche breakdown during which junction J2 will break down. At sufficient voltages the thyristor changes to its on state with low voltage drop and large forward current. In this case, J1, J3 are already forward biased. In order to trigger the SCR, the thyristor should be in the forward blocking state where the applied voltage is less than breakdown voltage. When designing a thyristor SCR circuit, some special attention needs to be paid to the trigger circuit. The operation of whole area of the thyristor or silicon control rectifier circuit is largely depends upon the way in which it triggers. There are several ways in which a thyristor or SCR can be triggered. One is gate triggering. This form of SCR triggering is the one of that is most commonly seen in the different circuits used. It is simple, reliable and efficient and easy to implement for most applications. A simple trigger signal can be applied. To turn on an SCR, a positive gate voltage between gate and cathode we have to apply. That is the important. To turn on SCR, a positive gate voltage should be applied between gate and cathode. Between gate and cathode we are applying a positive gate voltage. This gives rise to a gate current where charges are injected into the inner P layer of the device. This is effectively reduces the voltage at which forward breakover occurs. Gate triggering is the most commonly used turn on method employed to switch on the thyristors. Triggering circuits is also called firing circuits. There are various firing circuits available. Our firing circuits is simple but suffers from limited firing circuit. Firing angle is limited between 0 to 90 degrees. That is the important. Our firing circuit is used for below 90 degrees only. In actual practice, firing angle can be varied between 3 degrees to 90 degrees. Limitation of the firing angle range of our firing circuit is eliminated by introducing a capacitor and a diode. Thus, RC firing circuits can increase the firing angle limitation range. Theoretically, firing angle can be varied from 0 degrees to 180 degrees. 
However, due to low voltage at 0 degrees and 180 degrees, the thyristor cannot be turned on. Hence, practically the range of firing angle is between 3 degrees and 177 degrees. Both R and RC firing circuits suffer from following disadvantages. They can be employed in power circuits having only one thyristor. They are capable of open loop control only. Due to lower voltages near 0 degrees to 180 degrees, gate current is small. Especially in RC firing circuit, near 180 degrees, gate current is minimum due to maximum value of resistance R. This will increase the turn on time especially for R load. There is some other disadvantage of RC firing circuit. There is no electrical isolation between control circuit and power circuit. However, the circuits are simple and cheap. RC firing circuits is widely used in low power thyristor controllers such as solid state AC regulators for speed control of fans and blowers. RC firing circuits can also access snubber circuits. The load voltage waveform as shown in figure, it can be controlled by varying RV which varies the resistance in the gate circuit. If RV is increased, the gate current will reach its trigger value IZ minimum at a greater value of ES, making the SCR to trigger at a later point yes positive off cycle thus the trigger angle alpha will increase the opposite will occur if rv is decreased of course if rv is made large enough the scr gate current will never reach iz minimum and the scr will be remain off the minimum trigger angle is obtained with rv is equal to zero Figure shows the RC that is resistance capacitance half wave trigger circuit. By the RC network, a larger variation in the value of firing angle can be obtained by changing the phase and amplitude of gate current. By varying the resistance RV, the firing angle can be controlled from 0 to 180 degrees. That is the major difference between R and RC firing circuit. R firing circuit used for below 90 degrees only, whereas RC firing circuit used for 0 to 180 degrees firing. In the native off cycle, the capacitor C charges through diode D2 with the lower plate positive to the peak supply voltage Emax. This capacitor voltage remains constant at negative Emax until supply voltage zero value. Now the SCR anode voltage passes through zero and becomes positive. Capacitor C begins to charge through RB from the initial voltage minus Emax. When the capacitor charges to positive voltage equal to great trigger voltage VGT equal to VG minimum plus VD1, SCR is triggered and after this the capacitor holds to a small positive voltage as shown in figure. During negative off cycle, the diode D1 prevents the breakdown of the gate to cathode junction. In the range of power frequencies, the RC for zero output voltage is given by RCV equal to 1.3 T by 2 that equal to 4 by omega where T equal to 1 by F that is time period equal to 1 by frequency. This is the practical explanation of RC firing circuit that is the firing angle is more than 90 degrees you obtain you can see in this CRO. How to calculate phase angle and all according to the time period we can calculate the phase angle for RC circuit you can obtain up to maximum 177 degrees. This is the practical kit available in the laboratory to do R and RC firing circuit and observe the waveforms.